Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Rachel and this is Stitched Up. So today is my plans for October and I know it's a little bit late but um, if you watched my previous vlog you will know that I was away last weekend in North Wales. Had a really, really lovely restful weekend. It's been an absolute nightmare of a week. Um, I've had a very, very stressful week at work. Um, but I'm really glad to be back with you today to show you my plans for October. So I'm sorry it's coming a little bit late because we are almost halfway through. And so far in October, I haven't done any sewing at all. Now, before I get into my plans for what I'm gonna do for the rest of the month, um, firstly, I wanted to say I'm going to be filming my Q&A video very, very soon. Thank you so much for all the wonderful questions that you've all entered into the giveaway from Minerva Crafts. I think I've had over 200, so I think there's been a few duplicate questions asked. So I may um, either look at splitting it into two videos or just condensing the questions. But um, thank you so much to everybody that has contributed to that. Every single one of you that has commented will be entered into the giveaway and, and I will be drawing that probably on Sunday. It's Friday today, so I'll probably be doing that on Sunday. So please, please watch out for that. I'm really excited to see who's gonna win that fabulous prize from Minerva Crafts. So getting back to today's video, what I thought I would show you first is, if you remember last weekend, I did say that I was hopefully going to be able to call in at Abacan at Mostyn in North Wales on our way back from our weekend away. Um, I'm really pleased to say that I did, um, but what you will be absolutely astounded at is that I didn't buy anything at all. Now, I've never been before and it's a massive place. I did manage to do a little bit of filming. I'm not sure how great it was because I felt a bit of a nerd filming um, in Abacan when there's loads of people obviously just shopping as they do. Um, but I did do some filming, so I will put in some film of that here now for you in this video so that you can have a little look at Abacan and see what you think. So these are the rolls of fabrics that you can see for sale in Abacan and here are how the other fabrics are sold. They're all sold per kilo so as you can see there are prices per kilo and it does make it a little bit confusing when you're looking at how to figure out how much you're actually buying and how much it's going to cost but all these fabrics are set up so that you they are set up by fabric type so as you can see here are the poly wools and obviously these will weigh more per kilo because they tend to be a little bit heavier but you can see I'm drawn to the pretty prints and these are more the heavy wool fabrics so these are ideal for things like cotigans love that check Yeah, and uh, if you want to make your winter coat, quite like that uh, lime green there, that's quite nice. So uh, it's a massive place, as you can see. It's like an old mill. Uh, some quite bright prints here, and here are the planes. So there's, it's you, it's just overwhelming to be honest, because there's so much. Some sparkling knits here that are probably ideal for the Christmas party season that's coming up soon. Um, and uh, yeah there's just so much choice to choose from that it's quite overwhelming they've got lycras uh, plain lycras here and um, yeah absolutely overwhelming really that's quite uh, quite vibrant and uh, there's some laces these are all stretch laces just on the left just there some more sparkly sequiny fabric um, but again it's you, what you have to do is you choose a fabric and then you take it to the counter and they weigh it for you um, but um, I think it would be better if um, husbands attracted to uh, to the animal print chambray's but yeah I think it would be better if there was a set of weighing scales where you could just take a piece of fabric and go weigh it yourself and then figure it out before taking it to the counter so but um, but that's how it seems to be set up I do like that floral denim and they've got a sewing pattern department just there with sewing machines, etc. And I was really, really drawn to this. I think I've seen Elisa Lex make a dress out of this, actually. I think this was about um, £20 a metre. Something like that. Really, really nice. 
So yeah, so um, we've got some stretch velvets here, which I'm looking for a stretch velvet of that sort of colour at the minute anyway, but I didn't purchase this one. And then the haberdashery department, so loads of choices of different buttons, trims, um, zips. Again, it was just absolutely overwhelming. There's so many different types to choose from. So you could easily just get carried away buying, buying all sorts, but I resisted on this occasion. Um, they've got ribbons, yeah, bias binding, sequins. There's just so much choice. Quite liked that, that particular ribbon. So, but I think you need to come with something specific in mind. So my visit to Abacan, what I would say is that it's, how they sell fabric is quite strange. Um, they do have lots of rolls, as you will have seen in the video, but they also have fabric by the kilo. Now I found that really difficult to get my head around, mainly because it, there aren't scales where you can weigh it yourself. So you actually have to take those, those fabrics to the counter to get them to weigh weight for you. So I'm used to buying fabric by the metre, half metre, whatever, and I found that really, really strange. So um, those fabrics that were purchased, that you that you buy by the kilo, were actually um, in sort of fabric order. So they had all the denims together and all the jerseys together, that kind of thing. So the way they had those fabrics displayed actually made sense to me. So I'll be honest with you, I do find the Abacan website much easier to navigate. Um, there were a few fabrics that I did really like, but unfortunately the ones that I just totally zoned in on were really super expensive. There were some really lovely stripy sweatshirt in fabric that I liked. Not sure if I filmed it in the video, but if I did, I'll point it out to you. Um, and it was £16 a metre and I just thought, I, for what I wanted to make I was thinking about a toaster sweater and I thought it's going to be £32 and I didn't want to spend that much. What I would say as well is Mel from Ditsy Tulip, I will link to her down below, she shops at Mabacan Ab regularly and she always talks about things that she's bought from the remnant spin and I've just seen her latest vlog actually where she's got some gorgeous woolen fabrics from the remnant bin which was really really cheap and I couldn't see a remnant bin at the Abacan that I visited at all. Maybe I just missed it. Um, but it was great for, you know, a good browse around. And if I was in the area again, which I probably will because we do go to Wales. Um, well, I'm saying we do go to Wales. We do. We love it. We love going to North Wales and hiking. And um, I'm starting to waffle now. So, um, but yeah, if I'm ever in that area again, I I'd definitely go back to see what they've got in. So, um... Our weekend in Wales, we did climb Snowdon, I'm really pleased to say. Climbing Snowdon is a bit of a thing that my son likes to do every time we go to Wales and fortunately the weather was um, okay, so we, we did climb Snowdon. I will put some pictures in at the end of the video so you can have a little look um, if you're not from the UK and you've never been up into our mountains before. There is a really lovely cafe up there now which I think is what encourages my son to always want to go so I'll put some pictures in at the end if you're interested in that but now I'm going to get back to my plans for October. So firstly if you remember in my previous makes video for September I made the Camille trousers from Sew Over It and I made a few little adjustments that didn't quite work out. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make them again out of some fabric that I bought from Walton's Fabrics. If you've watched some of my previous videos you'll know that I go there quite a lot. They're one of my local fabric stores. They don't have an online I'm afraid but I bought this really lovely um, linen fabric. It's like a blue slub linen which I'll show you here. I bought this about a month or so ago so this is really lovely and I suppose you could argue that it's quite summery fabric. I'm just waiting for it to actually focus there but um, it's a really really lovely fabric and this cost £4 a metre um, and it is pure linen. It's it's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to make the Camille trousers out of this because I think I can still get away with it in winter um, with a jumper or a roll neck, that type of thing. I think they'll look quite nice. So I've got, I think I bought three metres of this. So I'm going to have a, another go at making the Camille trousers out of that. So that's one of my first things. Now, if you remember, um, I'm also taking part in the Sew Man Pants Challenge, which I'll link to below. I'm an, I'm an ambassador for that challenge. And I'm also making the 
um, a t-shirt and pair of jeans for my husband and son. So I'm not going to go over those in great detail because they're in my previous um, video anyway, if you have, but I'll link to that down below so you can go check that out. Now one of the other things I've seen recently is check. Now check is in everywhere this month. I was out shopping with my daughter a couple of days ago. My daughter came up from Leicester, which was fantastic. If you're watching Bronte, hi. Um, but yes, my daughter was up from Leicester, so we had a really lovely day together and went shopping. Um, I didn't buy any clothes because I tend not to now. Um, I tend to obviously make most of my clothes, but um, did have a good look at what's out in the shops at the minute. And yeah, check seems to be in everywhere. And it's not something I've ever really been drawn to before, but really, really keen to make myself a check dress jacket. Now Rachel from the Stitch Sisters made a lovely and amazing tartan jacket about a couple of weeks ago and I'll link to their vlog down below so you can go check that out. Then she looks fantastic in it. Um, not quite sure I could pull the bright red tartan look off. I don't think um, I've got the balls to wear it but kudos to Rachel for doing that. I think it looks amazing. But I have seen some really fabulous check jackets out and about and I will put a few pictures in just here so you can have a look at the kind of thing that I've seen and I think um I think these look great and I really love grey so I'm I've got some grey knit fabric which is this here which I bought from Colville Fabrics I've mentioned them quite a lot and I know a lot of you have actually um gone on to their their Facebook group and joined and are now buying fabrics from them which is just brilliant so um I hope you're getting some bargains but yeah I've got this quite hefty jersey tartan fabric check fabric whatever you whatever you want to call it um that again I think I got three meters of this I'm not sure whether I got this in the sale or whether it was um nine pounds for three meters but yeah it's got a got quite a good stretch one way and less of a stretch vertically but um this is it's not quite a ponty roma but it's that sort of weight and I thought this would be perfect to make a jacket out of so I've got this pattern which is Butterick B5926 this one here and I got this free with Love Sewing Magazine as you can see up there and I am making view D which is this one here so I've already cut all the pieces out and I'm going to get that sewn up pretty quick but this is a jacket that is designed for knit fabrics so I've never made a tailored jacket before and I don't think obviously this is a tailored jacket as such but because it's made out of knit fabrics but I thought it's going to be a good introduction to actually making a jacket that's a little bit more fitted um, but I don't want it tight fitting I want it just a little bit loose but yeah so I'm really looking forward to making that out of this fabric and I'm hoping to get that sewn up this weekend. So that's my next one. I also when I visited Walton's Fabrics I got myself some more just plain navy Ponty Roma. Now this was £4 a metre I believe. Um, so this is it here. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous quality Ponty Roma. I've had some navy that I got from Fabworks before that I did make a toaster sweater out of last winter I believe and um, it's faded a lot and to be honest when I look at the remnant that I've got in my stash at the minute it's not as nice as this um, and this I think they were both about the same price but I think this might have been about 50 pence a metre cheap or something like that but I've got a couple of metres of this and what I also bought was these really lovely cuffing from Albstoff. Um, there's loads of these cuffing fabrics online now and I bought this one from Sister Mintaka. I'll put a link to her down below. I don't think she's got this in stock anymore um, but I have seen it in a few other online stores. I'm not quite sure off the top of my head which ones. I'm not sure if Material Girl Laura's got it um, or Sew Me Sunshine but there's a, there are a few of the sewing shops online that do have this but I really loved the glit the gold glittery effect at the bottom and I thought with this blue Ponty Roma it's going to look fabulous as a sweater. So the sweater that I'm planning to make is the Astoria by Seamwork. I've made it three times now and I love it um, and I just think that the, the cuffs in that will just look fabulous. So I'm hoping to get that made this month as well. Um, next up I also bought this from Colville Fabrics, so it's another Czech fabric and it's another jersey. Um, it's This is a lighter weight than the other one and I got this I got in the 
sale so this was six pounds for three meters it's got a really nice stretch to it it's more of a um sort of t-shirt weight but it's a well it's a little bit a little bit thicker than a t-shirt fabric but what i'm planning to make out of that is mccall's m7 686 which is this one here um so this is an off the shoulder top i'm just letting that try and focus focus a little bit this is an off the shoulder top um not quite i'm not keen on the wide sleeves so what i've done is i've already cut this out but i've actually swapped the wide sleeves for these sleeves um so i'm going to have the straight sleeves but i thought that in this fabric will just look really nice with leggings jeans that kind of thing for winter um yeah so i've got that cut out as well and hopefully i'll get that made up this this weekend next up i've also bought from colville fabrics some black rib jersey now this is just a plain black rib not sure if that's focusing there it's got the rib effect to the the grain as you can see i think can you see that? Um, just a plain black and I'm planning on making the Nico roll neck top from um, True Bias. I bought the PDF of that I think when True Bias had a discount earlier in the year and I haven't made it yet and um, I wanted just a plain black rib sweater that I can wear with my wide leg trousers and yeah so i've got this fabric from colville again i think this was three meters for six pounds something like that really really reasonable and it'll be perfect just for a plain rib roll neck so that's going to be coming up this month as well so lots of jerseys this month and then finally if i do manage to get through all this there's also the cozy cardi challenge which is running at the moment which is run by the lovely Amanda from I Sew A Lot and Rachel and Nikki from The Stitch Sisters so I will link to that down below as well and I've only made one cardigan before out of um, fabric obviously I've knitted but um, fabric cardigan the one I made was the named patterns I think it's the Esme cardigan I will put a link to that here I made it out of some gorgeous um, mustard ponty roma that I got from the textile centre I haven't got it anymore actually I've donated it because it just came out absolutely enormous um, and I think I only made the size medium which should have been right for my size and I did wear it for the first year that I made it but I tried it on um, a month or so ago and it was just it swamps me so um, I've donated that to charity the next fabric I've got is this really lovely oatmeal pontel fabric that I bought from Walton's now this is a jersey I'll bring it in closer so you can have another look if that's going to focus and this was in their remnants bin basically it was a full bolt of this fabric and it was two pounds a meter and I think I've got three meters of this and I actually wish now that I'd bought loads more because it was just they were selling it off and it's just gorgeous I love it and I've seen similar fabrics to this online this is cotton based as well so it's all natural and when the fabrics that I've seen online that are, are of this quality um, are usually around 11 12 pounds a meter so I do wish I'd bought more the plan when I bought this was to make a little wrap cardigan but as part of the cozy cardi challenge I thought I'm going to make probably something a bit more long line out of this um haven't decided what pattern i'm going to make yet i do like the blackwood cardigan by helen's closet there's also one out by itch to stitch which i can't remember the name of at the minute but i'll put a, a link to that just at the bottom of the screen if i can find it um, I love the Jenna cardigan by Muse Patterns. I know that's been out for quite a while now and I've been wanting to get that pattern um, for probably about a year now and I've still not got around to it. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm not quite sure. I do want to do something that's a bit more long line. There is also one by Seamwork. Is it the Oslo? That one is one that I've got um, and I could possibly make that. So if you've got any ideas of which one you think I should make out of this fabric, then please let me know um yeah so that's it as if that isn't enough now as i say we are two weeks into october and yeah i'm not sure how much time i'll get to do all these but there's again there's a lot of there are a lot of jersey jersey fabrics here which should be quick to make on my overlocker which just reminds me actually one thing i did buy this week is some more overlocking thread now i know that's not exciting especially because it's white but for those of you that are in the, the uk at the minute these overlocking threads they sell in lidl which is 
um, a supermarket. Some of you from um, out of the UK might have heard of them because they are a German supermarket that's quite popular in the UK now. And um, yeah, as one of their special buys this week, they've got a lot of sewing sewing stuff on sale, including overlocking threads. And I was nearly out of my white overlocking thread, so I nipped in and bought some more. These are two for two pound at the minute, and I use them all the time. Um, there's nothing wrong with their overlocking thread. It, it's polyester, it works perfectly well. So um, yeah, if you are near a Lidl, at the minute I would suggest if you want to stock up on overlocking thread nip in and get some. They do have them in other colours they've got I think they've got black, grey, red, blue and like a beigey colour um, and yeah they're absolutely fine so I got four of those as well. So that's it from me today and um, what I am going to do is the jacket that I showed you earlier the Butterick jacket the Czech one I thought I would do a sew along for that so I'm going to film myself sewing that up um, as, an, as an extra little video that I will hopefully be putting out for you soon and yeah my next video I think I'm going to film this weekend will be the Q&A video and the announcement of the winner of my 2000 subscriber giveaway so keep your eyes peeled for that so if you haven't yet please 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 subscribe to my channel um, I really really do appreciate it. I do read everybody's comments and I'm sorry I'm not very good at replying to some people's comments at the minute. I am reading every single one and I really do appreciate it. I've just had a bit of a horrendous week um, for lots of reasons that I'm not going to go into and I just haven't had the opportunity to reply. Please give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and as I say if you haven't yet please please subscribe and I will look forward to seeing you all again really soon. Bye bye!